Hi, it's Fantasmal Fawn, and this is going to be a tutorial on Chloe Price from Life is Strange. This was suggested by Missing Dictator on YouTube. They suggested either Chloe or Max, and immediately I thought Chloe. So many more opportunities for um, sort of effect style makeup. I know how it feels to be very small and watching all these makeup uh, artists on YouTube do all this cool stuff and you know, not being able to do it because I didn't have liquid latex or spirit gum or anything like that. So this tutorial is going to be using all or mostly things that you can find in your kitchen or bathroom. This was created with all-purpose flour, toilet paper, eyeshadow, and then a little bit of cream paint and fake blood. But if you don't have that, corn syrup and red food coloring is a perfectly good alternative. I'm starting off with my regular foundation. This bottle in particular is from Maybelline. I'm going over my whole face and neck, but skipping the middle of my forehead because that's where I'll be applying the bullet wound later. After I'm all finished with that, I'm just setting my foundation with some translucent powder on a big fluffy brush. Chloe's eyebrows are light brown and very thin, so I'm mimicking the shape that she has with my Ben Nye brow pencil. Afterwards, I'm using the same pencil to just dot a few freckles over my face, concentrating them on the bridge of my nose. With a black felt tip eyeliner, I am going over my waterline. Then I'm using an eyeshadow primer over the lower halves of my eyelids. I'm lining my eyes with ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Roulette, which happens to have a lot of glitter in it from the last time I used it. And I'm not using the felt tip eyeliner for this step because I want it to be able to smudge to look more messy. I'm putting a thin line all around my eyes making it taper a bit towards the inner corners. After I apply the eyeliner, I'm just smudging it up a little bit with my finger. Afterwards, I'm using just a bit more on the outer corners of my eyes to shape mine more like hers. Now I'm taking a tannish brown eyeshadow and putting just a little over top of the eyeliner. Now I'm taking a deep chocolatey brown and using it on my creases and a little bit under the eye. I'm taking a two-part mascara and just using the fluffy end of the wand on my lashes. I adore fake lashes, but I didn't think they suited Chloe at all, so I'm keeping mine bare. Chloe's tear ducts have a bit of a folded shape, and that's what I'm trying to achieve here with a little more of the ColourPop eyeshadow. taking a light pink lipstick and applying just a little to the center and smearing it out like you would a lip gloss. I decided that looked a little too artificial and I'm now layering a peachy color over top of it and smearing that out also because I am trying to make it look like there's nothing on my lips at all. So that concludes part one of this Chloe Price tutorial. Um, it's very simple because she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. I think in a lot of scenes she doesn't wear any at all. But you could always do something to make yourself look more like a character. Even if it's not like mimicking the makeup that they already have on because sometimes they might not have it. Now we're going to move into part two, which is of course the SFX portion of the it's very spoilery. This entire tutorial is one giant spoiler from the get-go, and I'm sorry to anyone who's had to play game. Now I'm taking a cotton ball and unrolling it, pulling off a piece about yay big, and dipping it in this mixture of flour and water that I have. 
I am twisting it up and shaping it into a sort of ring. Then just sticking it straight to my forehead. No spirit gum or glue necessary. What I'm doing here is using the flat side of my fingernail to blend the outer edge of the cotton ball into my forehead. This step is very important because it's what's going to make the cotton ball look like it's actually part of your skin. I actually used a blow dryer on my forehead for a couple minutes before going in on it with my foundation. Now with some black cream paint, I am filling in the inner part of the circle. I'm taking a matte red eyeshadow and applying it all around my bullet wound, spreading it out onto my forehead a little ways also. The point of this is to make the skin look very damaged and agitated, so put as much on as you want. I'm also shading with some dark purple to make it look more realistic. I'm making it look even more irritated by adding a red cream paint closer to the wound. I'm smudging it out with my fingers because it is very important for the paint to be blended. I'm taking the glossy appearance out of the hole by topping it with matte black eyeshadow. Then I am just applying some fake blood directly on the hole. It turned out to be much more drippy than I anticipated, so maybe wear some pants that you don't care about too much. This step is completely optional, and if you'd like something that wouldn't drip, try using red lipstick or face paint to draw the trail and then putting lip gloss over top of it to make it appear shiny. This is the finished product, and now you are ready to go and find yourself a time-traveling girlfriend. I hope you enjoyed, and please leave any requests you might have for me to do next time. Bye!